Welcome back, ladies and gents. We are here, and uh, we've added a small little expansion to our factory, to say the least. Uh, so as you can see, I got my coal coming in, and it's getting split off. And then I also split off some iron ore, because, yeah, these things we're going to need for this next uh, task. I also got some nitrogen gas. Uh, that's the same line that was fueling the other stuff originally anyways, so all good there. But I did have to pipe in some water, and I got it from the natural pure water thing up there, so we're just piping down some water. Not a lot. It's, it's a small amount. We don't need much for this operation, but water's coming in. With the iron, we're making pure iron ingots to get ourselves 87 per minute on the iron. And then our coal is coming around the outside. Around the outside. All right. Very good. Uh, but those are going in to make wire and steel pipes, right? Pretty straightforward. Iron wire and iron pipe. Nice and convenient. Over here, we're making steel a very small amount. We don't need much at all six per minute i'm keeping this limited i don't this is our primary use of the iron right i want these to be at 100 percent. that can you know slowly work its way through all right those steel ingots are becoming iron rods i know sounds a little weird why not just make iron into iron rods this is more efficient we are making efficiencies all right <laughs> anyways uh, the wire and the pipes are going in to make stators, right? And the stators then are going out and over to there. The iron rods are going in to make screws, you know, times two, which is pretty darn efficient. Uh, are we not making enough? 10 and 11.67. Twenty-one point six seven. Point six eight. Then, how does that make you feel? What? Why didn't that change? Okay, two hundred cooling systems. Boom and boom. Let's go launch it. Milestone reached. Project part number nine, nuclear pasta, can be created in the particle accelerator. The accelerator has vast and fluctuating power demands, depending on the recipe, so will need careful integration with your factory. Fix it does not waste, so nuclear waste can be refined by the particle accelerator into plutonium for reuse in the nuclear power plant. Fun fact. Fix-It psychologists suggest factory designs reflect the minds of their creators in unexpected ways. On an unrelated note, your infrastructural choices have been interesting. Thanks for the sass, Ada. Love it. All right, so that's tier eight and seven completed 100%. Uh, that's pretty darn awesome. Uh, so the tier eight, you know, we got all the miners and now we get into particle accelerators and nuclear pasta. So we have everything at our fingertips now to really kind of keep building and going with a lot of different things. There's our particle accelerator, which requires those cooling systems, not surprised uh, by that. But it also requires the turbo motors, which I think is next on our list to actually make, right? And turbo motors, I just kind of have the machines over here just so that I can, you know, pick and choose uh, what I may need and take a look. Like thermal propulsion rocket, which is obviously a goal. We need it up here. So we need modular engines, turbo motors. We got our cooling systems and we have our fused modular frame. So turbo motors and modular engines, I think, are the next ones. This guy here, also the magnetic field generator, is not too, too bad. Um, so that's another one that we need to make as well. But I am curious. I think it's in the manufacturer, actually. Uh, let's just build another one because this is how I'm 
keeping my my head apparently uh actually i can just remove the blender now because we completed that right so let's throw down another manufacturer and take a look at this guy so we need to make modular engines so that's motors rubber and smart plating right so we either have plastic smart plating or we have regular smart plating and then turbo motors are cooling radio control units motors and rubber um or the alternate route okay but that's the electric i think there's a better turbo motor out there but we'll just go with what we have right now i actually have access to all of this over at that base so i could make turbo motors over there because we are making the radio control units we are making the cooling systems over there um and we do actually have motors uh i don't know if i have any more rubber that i can pull from to be honest um the modular engine though is a little bit harder I don't really have smart plating anywhere at all. And this is kind of getting me back to my whole concept of, wow, are we, we're kind of, I don't want to say stuck, but we're, we're hitting a threshold and we've been hitting that threshold for quite some time. Staters and high speed or staters and ai okay um we're hitting that threshold right i've talked about it a few times to say the least and we are definitely hitting it um you got a few motors there i got all of this automated wiring really okay um but yeah we are at that threshold to say the least i do have all this smart plating here but I am going to run out of rotors right away. So that's not going to work long term. Anyways, that threshold is upon us where, yeah, I can make the turbo motors over there. I can pencil it in and then ship the turbo motors over. I think that's a good strategy. But I think it's time for me to start working a little bit harder on the base over there. So um, that's exactly what I plan on doing here is I'm gonna set up a few different platforms and things like that. We do have a couple of things available to us, like some basic walls and stuff that uh, I would like to use. My problem is I was trying to hold off until we actually could buy a few things, but we might be able to buy a few things anyways, right? Like, I mean, the main one would be like a conveyor wall that would be a big one. I mean, door walls would be nice. And then the foundations um, could, be, could be good to have, right? The stairs, but that's a lot of tickets. That's a lot of tickets when I look at it, man. Um, same thing like concrete. I thought about getting some of that, but I don't know. I don't know, you know? It's a thing. The lights, yeah. Oh, man. So many things. I want all these, too. And these. And all of these. <laughs> so, yeah, it'd be a lot of coupons. So, I'm, I'm kind of torn because right now, you know, the Golden Nut, a thousand. I think that's still, I think that's still kind of the initial goal. I think I got to let it just build up and go. Um, there's probably a few things that I can sink uh, overflow wise in the meantime while I'm building just to kind of bolster my ranks like the fused um, fused frames, the cooling system that we just made and um, the radio control units that we just made. Right. So at least overflow wise, I can sink some of that while I'm building. All right, welcome, welcome. I've done a few minor tweaks and changes. Obviously, I've kind of started setting up our main base here again as a bit of a supply depot. Um, 
similar to what I had before. So don't get too worried. We got the copper sheets. We got the iron plates, the reinforced. We got the iron rods and some screws going in. Those aren't depot worthy, but those are heading into the next step. So a lot of depot stuff, pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy, right? Just kind of just kind of getting my bearings, right? I think I'm double syncing quick wire. Anyways, um, that is then going into I've rebolstered my stator and my rotor production. Uh, and I've also set up portable miners as a production item so that we are uploading those guys as well. I think I have a few to say the least. Yeah, almost almost maxed out in the depot. That's great. That'll be good for whenever we need to make a mine or anything like that, right? So, And then from there, we got those guys going into... There's our stator and our rotor storage. Very good. And those guys are going in to make motors, which we have already maxed out. That's fantastic. So again, just kind of rebolstering some of the items that we already had and making sure that we have everything we need. Um, one of the ones that I have not done until now is our concrete, which I have down here. Uh, instead, I use these two limestones down below. Just the simple, you know, concrete recipe. I do have a backup storage of concrete as well, which is great. Um, I haven't yet figured out, like, can I, like, back up the backup? You know what I mean? But that's fine. I'll figure that out a little bit later. There's got to... I can already think of a way, but it's just going to look weird. Okay. Other than that, um, I have started to also get final preparations on a couple of other things over at the aluminium uh, area. So... One of the ones that we discussed for phase four is those magnetic field generators, I think is what they're called there. The second one from the top right uh, that we can make. So that guy there will be, I think, made here. And then we can go out from there. All right. So let's see. What have I done over here? I've expanded a little bit. I got some stators and some AI limiters. So, over yonder, I got some quick wire coming in and I got some iron uh, or steel pipes from up above here. These guys here, right? Um, that guy's keeping up for the most part. Keeping up. We should be good. I mean, 132. That's 108. And that's 22.22. I guess we're just uh, barely off. Let's go 133. Then we should see a surplus and never have an issue, right? Because that's 98%. So that should fix that. Anyways, so yeah, we got some steel pipes coming on down. Um, again, looks a little weird with the hole in the floor. I wish I had the, uh, yeah, the conveyor hole floor thing. But we're making some quick wire stators down here. And those quick wire stators, uh-oh. Uh oh, that's a problem. Deuterium ingots, hey? Are we using that many? Uh oh, we're smelting thirty, smelting thirty, using thirty there, and using what here? Thirty. Well, that should be fine. I'm confused. Smelting thirty and thirty. The ore. Oh, the ore. Where's my ore? Hello? Ore? Anyways. Yeah, a couple uh, wrinkles to still kind of iron out. What is this miner set to? Oh, boy. Uh, let me go fix this. So, anyways, that'll be fixed uh, shortly. We'll have enough ore coming in. I just boosted it up. So, anyways, we've got staters coming on through and going all the way around this stupid thing here. Actually, I never even tried. Yeah, okay. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. And that guy is then going into this to make our electromagnetic control rod. So stators and some AI limiters, which I just stole off the main AI limiter line. So not a big deal. Um, lots of good potential there. And lots of electromagnetic control rods, which is great. 
those guys come out they're getting put into here as you can see we're maxing out our depot which is good which means the next ones will start to actually store so just kind of completed that one there our radio control units over here are full that's good so we'll be sinking the extras 70 tickets that's not too shabby i've been playing a long time though <laughs> It's not going very fast, folks. It's not going very fast at all. All right. The next step from here is having the electromagnetic control rod, right? And working towards that magnetic field generator. So I already have this over overflow line here that I can pull off of accordingly to make our magnetic field generator. Now, the problem is that guy also requires, I believe it was, um, what is it? Oh, yeah, the, the versatile framework. So the versatile framework requires modular frames, steel beams, and rubber in a manufacturer. So it's a pretty big unit, to say the least. Now, I did go through the hassle. I've pulled from steel beams. I've pulled the modular frames from our steel factory over yonder and then i think we just have to get ourselves situated with a little bit of a manufacturer set up here and basically the ability to get some rubber as well so i think i should be able to let's see that's already overflow so i overflow the overflow probably for this that seems like not the best idea maybe i just split it maybe we just split this split the overflow that could be a better idea because the radio control units are already full this might be a better course of action all right anyways um without further ado <laughs> we are going to uh get this done i guarantee it all right, uh, how am I going to get this done? By building a belt. And we're going to build it up and out like so. And then we're going to head on down. And then we will get into the straight mode and head on over to the edge here. Um, pretty straightforward. Get it? Straight mode? Ha ha ha. I've been waiting to use that joke. All right, so we're inputting here. And we're going to come on down to... So it's fun to get it to the right height. Like so. Excellent. Let's throw in our production manufacturer. Uh, that guy. I'm kind of thinking we line it up accordingly. Uh, like so. I think that should work okay. And then I'm going to need a power line as well. Um, where am I going to pull that from? There's got to be one nearby. I'm getting charged up. All right, let's go from here to here, and then we'll go down from there. Okay, that should work out all right. Boom, got it. Awesome. So I think what I'm going to make is the flexible framework, the alternate recipe. So that guy's going to come down uh, accordingly and go into right there. This guy will basically be on top of that, like so and then go in like so oops i always do that and i put it into straight mode and it looks a little bit weird sometimes all right good uh let's throw in those steel beams before it fills up excellent so steel beams modular frames and our rubber which is right over here uh which should be pretty easy for us to grab and then we can basically input that guy like so okay excellent so that should be working now i only need a lot less than this but I'm, i might just let it run i'm debating if i keep extra it's probably not a bad idea i don't know if i need that many though like that's pumping through pretty good i actually don't know if i'm making that many modular frames uh, two and a half more. I think that might be my holdup. That or the rubber. So let me double check that. 
All right, all of that has been solved, so let's throw down the uh, assembly machine up here. And then I think what we'll do is we will uh, reroute this a little bit. We're going to do overflow into there, right? And then we will overflow the overflow, because I love to do that. Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Let's change this up all together, okay? So, let's see. We want... I really want them to be stored, but let's just... Uh, let's change this. Um, okay. If we go like this... Give ourselves plenty of room. Good. Right? And I just go, boom. That's our primary. But then we smart split that. Right, and we go, okay, from the smart splitter, let's say center should be any. We should use them, I guess. And then we'll overflow to the right. I guess some extra light would be good for you guys, eh? And then what we'll do is I want overflow into there, but I want overflow of overflow for that, right? Hello? Okay. Good and good. So then the center output will be our overflow and the right will be any, right? Okay, why did that not line up? You guys saw the lines, right? I see the lines. Hello? Could I not have done that better? Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on, man. All right, let's put it right in the middle. Come on, get her done. All right. We good? We good? What dot? What dot? Why is this being a pain? Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna go with it. It is what it is. Alright? Uh, yeah. It sucks. I hate it. But it's fine. Okay, good. So that's gonna be our magnetic field generator. One per minute. Not a lot, not ideal, but it will do the job, okay? Same thing down here. I'm going to do the exact same similar setup. Now, these two are not directly above each other. Okay, perfect. That's actually quite nice. So, I'm going to run this guy all the way out to the edge. We're going to run a quick little industrial depot setup off of this. Um, do I want to... Nah, let's just leave it off to the side like that. Looks good, and we'll dimensional depot it. I don't know that we need to, but we will find out very soon if we do, I guess. All right, so the right output will be overflow. The center output will be any. Now, I don't want to be overflowing what I have in there. I would like to save some of it. So uh, in the meantime, let's just go like that, and then we will... Um, I built that too low. Nice. Good job, me. All right. I hate getting these lined up for the right height. It's so annoying. Okay. Are we good? We should be good. Let's just pull it over there, and then we will pull it on it. Okay. Good. Excellent. Amazing. Ridiculous. <laughs> All of those adjectives. All right. Very good. So that should start making, very slowly, some magnetic field generators. Now, I'm also going to sloop this because it seems like a good sloop target. You know what I mean? Uh, it only requires two sloops. We're going to double our output with the same amount of input. That seems like a bit of a no-brainer to me. So I like that quite a bit. Let's grab out those extra magnetic rods and we'll throw them in there. And then this guy here, kind of the same general thought process, is I'm going to have this overflowing into that over there. So we're going to set up a similar organizational structure. All right, so all of my math is telling me that this will eventually all back up. It's going to take a long time, right? Because we need all of these magnetic field generators to basically um, 
make their way into our system, which they are, which is good. Um, but we need that to fill up, that to fill up, right? And then that'll back up this and that, and then those will get filled up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So all good things, to say the least, but just one of those little details that are going to require a lot of backing up. Now, one of my major concerns at the moment is... Where is all my rubber? <laughs> I might actually need to find a way to make more rubber out here. I mean, we're 99 of 30, but we are like 108 of 30. That's not very good. It's not very good at all. Uh, this guy should be making rubber at a pretty good... Yeah, not too bad. I think I have this fuel balanced out right now, so... I don't think there's much else that I can do here um, otherwise. Uh, I do have some rubber on me, so I can just kind of add that to the system in hopes that, okay, you know, it'll balance out once this maxes out at, you know, 200. But we'll see. It's, it's kind of thin. But uh, all things considered, a pretty good setup. So, I truly do believe that obviously there's a lot of things that we need to back up, right? We need to get these guys backing up. Our radio control units are already good. We need to get those, the versatile frameworks, all this stuff backing up quite nicely. And the other one that I need to get working on is my smart plating. This guy here, whether it's plastic or the other. Um, so I need some smart plating as well. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put that. But then it should be, okay, let's bring all of these things together, right? I have high speed going in here. Oh, yeah, I, was, I think I was duplicating quick wire storage. Yeah. Extra depot. No, thank you. Not required. Not required at all. So, yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Um, obviously, it's required for storage, but it's not required at the same time. All right, good. Uh, our ore came in. That's good. We should be seeing almost 100% production. Yeah, 100%. Beautiful. I love to see it. This guy here should also be at 100. Excellent. Not that we need a ton of these. We should be pretty good on that front. Okay. Very positive, to say the least. I think everything is coming together quite nicely um, at this depot. We have a decent amount of aluminium, uh, whether it's the all-clad sheets or the casings. Uh, all of that's working out really, really well. We are full on the fused modular frames. It is producing because I do have them sinking at the moment, but we can start shipping those elsewhere, and that seems to be holding up just fine. Um, over here, I believe we are almost maxed out on cooling units, and it's looking like this system's doing very well. So, yeah, almost maxed out on cooling units as well. Okay, good. So, yeah, all things considered, over here is running quite efficiently. I think that's where we're going to end it today. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, but I think it's good to kind of leave it like this because I got a lot of work ahead of me and that work is on the base and probably trying to play with trains a little bit because I never have before and some of the transportation of items so yeah I think that's where we're going to end it thank you all so much for watching I do appreciate the likes the comments you know the views I just thanks for Thanks for tuning in to my stuff, you crazy, crazy people. All right. Have a good one. Bye.